And this is what happens when you've been out of commission for a few weeks because you're sore, achy, or running off to care nows, or having to deal with dealerships. So this is going to take a while. I'm actually tempted to just go to the laundromat, just go to the wash area and get it all done in two or three washing machines. Hmm, we'll see. This Pepsi is actually very unpalatable, but the story is really good. Oh my gosh, you guys, looky, looky. I am all of a sudden obsessed with Little Mermaid all over again. Look at this. So cute. Yeah, I hadn't watched it in years, and I watched it a few weeks ago, and I've watched it three times since. This is adorable. These are really nice. They have Dallas and Baltimore. Oh, there's a Boston. Ooh, I don't want to get too excited, but I love these and I see these at Goodwill all the time, but they don't have the bottom or the lid. There's always something missing. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, how much is it? Oh, that is so pretty. Do I want it that bad? Probably not. Darn it. That's hilarious. This caught my eye. That is so pretty. That is so lovely. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with cake tins when I don't bake. But look how pretty would that be if I got my frosting game on. Ew, I don't want it that bad. $6.96. Oh my googly moogly. <gasps> It's Cinderella. Somebody must have cleaned out their baking their baking drawer. Look, a little t-shirt for like an It's a Boy maybe. Oh my gosh, is that Rudolph? Oh, that stinking Rudolph. There's a mermaid. I'm making a racket. Look at the baby. Little choo choo trains. Little house. So sweet. Okay, guys. I'm not all into this uh, redone stuff, but I love this. So this may have to come home with me, and it's only $1.91. I like it. That's a pretty little cocktail shaker. That's real nice. What do they want for this thing? I can't tell. It's nice. Shut your face. Look at that. But it's missing the top. That is so cute. These are amazing. I wish they had four of them because I sure would get them all. OM Jeepers Creepers. This is hilarious. If y'all know anything about Loteria, y'all know this is a spin on the card. I love it. I almost got one, but it has the company logo on the back, and I don't like that. That's just that's just me. This may have to be our word of the day. Maybe. We'll see if I can clean it up. These are neat. These are local areas here in Dallas-Fort Worth. Uh, lots of clubs, lots of restaurants. The it scene, not so much here. There's a lot of violence going on here. Um, but those are neat. That's pretty cool. And I have that one back there. This is pretty. You put your little tea light back there. I bet that gives off a real pretty glow, but it's all chipped and raggedy up here. 
I have too many of these already. These are some wall pockets. $3.93 for two. Those are nice. I like stuff like this. They're resin. They're not um, glass, thank goodness. I don't know. I just don't have really any more space for this stuff. Ooh, look at this fancy butter dish. What is that saying? Something court? Why do I feel lead poisoning? This is so sweet. I don't know what it is about it. I just love it. I see this here thing, but I think that's way too much when you could probably get this in you for a little more. Like at Best Buy and places like that. I actually need one of these because the cover came off of my dryer vent on the side of the house or my neighbors knocked it off. I don't know. We ain't gonna get into that. But it looks like it fits. I wonder if it would. I'd hate to buy it and then it doesn't. This chair is so regal. I love the tufting. It's a filthy mess. But there's something so pretty about it. Okay, I wasn't looking at clothes until I came across a hoodie that coincidentally falls under the 50% off tag. So now I'm looking to see if anything falls under the three color tags. But I keep forgetting what color tags they are. I may just have to break down and get me a little wine cooler because I've been wanting one. I want the smaller one though if it's like on your counter or on a tabletop because I don't have that much wine, but I definitely we all want to keep it cool. And I don't trust a used one. <laughs> um, here's a little curio cabinet. It's a light up one. $8.98. You could paint it, make it your own, put little shotchkis in there. It has the glass shelves. This would make it home though. I know me, I'm clumsy. And I don't have any room for it, so I need to quit it. So ever the picky and frugal shopper, I'm going to show you guys what I'm putting back in lieu of that cabinet. Now the cabinet is not for me. I'm actually getting it for my friend because she wanted, was looking for things to um, use for her little shelves. But... As I was looking at that and everything else that I had in here, I'm like, you know what? A lot of this stuff I, I personally don't need for myself. It's just things I wanted. I'm not going to use. Honestly, I don't use hardly any of the uh, cake pans that I buy that are in designs. So what am I going to do that for? And this is actually 50% off. But I just bought a whole bunch of clothes. So I really don't need it. I was just kind of throwing things in the basket for me because it's what I do. Now I will tell you something that I may go ahead and take with me because I know my friend is going to pay me back for the curio. This I was going to put back, but no, I've been looking for one for too long. So I'm putting this back in the basket. You guys look. Look at this lovely. Look at this. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. And it has a little foot pedal. This is beautiful. It's only $50. I see these at antique shops for like two, three hundred dollars in as is condition. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Some of the the wood in the back, the little fakey near back here is pulling but oh that is so pretty that is beautiful can you imagine that refinished that is beautiful now y'all know I am a lamp geek and I love this I wonder if this is part of their new furniture and just send it up over here because it still has a plastic on there on their uh, 
shut up. Is this lamp only ten dollars and ten cents? Or is that code? Is that one oh one? No, that's ten ten. Man, I don't need another lamp, but isn't that pretty? That's a perfect little reading lamp. Position over your reading chair. I need to get out of this store. They have so much good stuff right now. I'm doing household inventory in my head to see if and where I could use this. This would actually be nice in the hallway, but I prefer the wood one I have there. I like this little hand-painted cabinet. Wouldn't that be pretty in a little girl's room? That is so pretty. I'm curious, what does it look like inside? It's missing the door pull. Oop. Is that an extra? Oh my gosh, it's a whole set. There's the nightstand and the dresser. That is so pretty. I love it. Oh, the drawers are so smooth. Look at this adorable little plushy thing. It's a little rock. Need a rocking chair. These are nice. I like those. Little bar stools. Look at this big old ceiling mounted clock. It reminds me of the office. Maybe the universe is telling me I need to have a loteria get together, which I used to have. We used to make food, get together, play loteria till one, two in the morning. Cause look at that. I love it. It has a little chip. I can easily glue that back in place, but I just think it's funny. The sparkle caught my eye. Look at that mirror mosaic. That is really pretty. That's lovely. You guys, shut up. Remember the other one I found? That I put my cards from you guys in? Look. There's another one. How much is this one? 404 or 604? This one is missing the C for Costa Rica. It's missing the top of the T. It's just as pretty as the other one, but I already have the other one, so I don't want to overkill, but that is just lovely. That is such pretty handmade work. Are you friggin' kidding me right now? I wonder what they're selling this for. I'm scanning the lamps because I found an amazing little shade and I'm trying to see if the lamp was separated from the shade but I don't see anything that will go with the gloriousness that is that look at this gorgeous thing but it doesn't have a price on it so I'm assuming it was separated from a base that is beautiful he is the latest addition to Little Dude's Collection. Yes? Yes. <laughs> See these concrete fruits and veggies. I like the apple, but then I thought I saw... Yep. What y'all think? How much? I'm going to say $5.96. $4.04. But I don't have any more room, guys. So pretty. Look at these pretty little pictures. 404 each. What do I spy back here? What is this? What is this loveliness? Look at these lanterns. These are so pretty. There's two of them. And while I have the brackets to hang them from, I don't have use for them. They are pretty though. Let me put this picture back. So someone can buy it as a set. That's cute. I like the look of this. Isn't that sweet? For some OJ? That is cute. I think I see another one of these mirrored trays. Oh, look, a little tree slicer. I don't need any more of these, but I always 
what? Oh, does that say Grinch? Grinch Street. I need this. I need this in my life. How cute. Okay, distracted. Yeah, I don't need any more of these. What is this? Gingerbread Street, Grinch Street. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. For cremas, for cremas. Oh my goodness, what the heck? This shelf is chock full of goodness. That's a nice price for such a lovely little dish. Look at the little feet. So cute. I'm already imagining it full of jewelry, little earrings and stuff. Stoneware butter warmer set. Oh, how cute. Look for lobster and stuff. That's neat. Y'all keep hearing me talk about voodoo dolls, right? Well, I believe there is a cow or a bull somewhere that is severely afflicted. Because look at this freaky thing. Look at this multi-tiered awesomeness for cupcakes. That is so cool. Never in my life will I have need to make this many cupcakes, but I think that is a really good price for that. You guys, look at this display case. That is so pretty. Does it just open? Do you have to unlock it? Oh, that's... That is fake. Brighton, this is the jewelry. The jewelry people. Yeah, it's missing the legs. But this is the jewelry people. I have some Brighton pieces. And this was their display case. How pretty is that? I hate the color, but painted or refinished? Love it. My gosh, guys, isn't that pretty? You got the bang. That is so pretty with a little pillow or a throw hanging out of it. I don't think there's any cucarachas in it. How much is this? This is so... Oh, 707. Do I have an immediate spot for it? No, I don't. Will I be worried that creepy crawlies get in it? Yes. In my house, spiders and snakes. But that is so pretty. No, it'll stay. Is this Rachel Ray? Yep. My sister has this set. She uses it every Thanksgiving. Y'all better not judge me, but I swear I want these sparkly pants. I'm thinking Halloween like a mermaid bottom. Look for Halloween. <laughs> this bunny was really cute, but it would have been cuter with eyeballs. I was tempted by him, but he looks depressed. So I left him. This store has been chock full of these pretty trinket boxes lately. Love them. I like these for rice or pintos, but I currently have some. This looked like something straight out of my mama's house growing up. 
I got really excited about this because I thought it was like um, leaded glass or um, stained glass. But come to find out, it was just a little sticker. And I thought it was too expensive for a sticker on glass. She was really pretty, but again, another depressed and sad little figure? Nope. Y'all know I loved the color, but I couldn't find any lids, so I didn't need them. They were tempting, though, and really good priced for this kind of cookware. And this bowl was just gorgeous, but this kind of stuff peels from the bottom. And $7.99? Uh-uh. So this is the twin to the one I got my last haul. This is the one I took the little stopper out of. Yeah, I did that. I know. I shouldn't have. But this one was beat up. Look. And this is still here. I think that's a sign that I need this in my life. Y'all know ain't no thrift stop complete without me hitting the cup shelf. And this is right up my scripture alley. This was cute, but motherhood is the only thing in my life not trying to kill me, so I left it behind. When I tell y'all I was ready to pick up four of these, they had nice hefty weight to them. But at $3.99 it would have added up, and I just don't have an immediate use. I remember seeing a picture at Goodwill a few years ago with this same little setup, the birdies on the wire. So I had to take a quick peek. I imagine an ivy or some succulents would look so pretty in here, but nah. I got so happy when I saw this little birdhouse, really big and very expensive, and I was worried that it would break any limb I tried to put it on on my birdhouse tree. And these were tempting too, nice and hefty, pretty, vintage. Oh, but this house... Both of these items stirred my rustic kitchen heart up some, but I don't have any space or use. Y'all know brass turns my head, and I just thought this was the daintiest, loveliest little piece. Now this right here made me think of Melinda. She adored wolves, and if she were still with us, I would have bought this for her, because she had quite the collection of pretty wolf um knickknackery I didn't check the price but had I found a second one I probably would have bought them I love amber glass it just takes me back to childhood my mom had this color and green and then these pretty little votive hearts I thought were adorable I just had to sneak a peek at this pretty tinted tulip bowl These little luminaries were so pretty. I just love this kind of thing glowing with candles, but there they go again with the $7.99. I loved the gloss on this little container, and the little birdies on either side was really pretty, but no use. <laughs> I thought this was a really good deal for these melanin plates, $1.99 for four. And then over yonder here, you had $2.49 for two matching melanin bowls, but I didn't need them. If y'all know me at all, y'all know I am a huge Karate Kid fan and a huge Cobra Kai TV show fan. And I tried to talk little dude into wearing this, but he said, nope. Rude. Now this little guy is still here. It's a little apple and worm nightlight. I wanted it for my laundry closet, but I can't access the plug to have it plugged in. I love this little lamp. It gives me art studio or college dorm vibes. I just think it's so pretty. If I had a little girl, these would so go into her bedroom. As is, I was tempted to get them myself but only didn't because they wouldn't match anything. Now, had they had clear little plastic baubles on it, I sure would have bought at least one of them. 
Now, I almost grabbed this and then thought, fool, that's what ice chests are for. Jeez. This was just cute and wanted to share with y'all. These were so pretty and so fitting for the season and the holiday coming up. But they're kind of small and I do Easter big. So all my barbecue is not going to fit on here. So then my eyeballs popped out of my head. Look at all of these little minis. A lot of them were salt and pepper shakers. But y'all know I tuck these into my house plants and in my flower pots. I was going gaga. And the lady kept putting them out and putting them out. I had to keep going back. Look at the variety. Look at the cuteness of some of these things. Look. Now this I fell in love with, but this one right here was missing the little handle. And these are little salt and pepper shakers that I didn't want to break up. These were really neat, but I didn't have any use for them. But the fact that they still had the little stoppers in them was cool. I loved what this said. Almost got it, but nah. Now this made my eyeballs pop out at 3.49, so yoink. This has been here a while and I like this stuff. So if I go back in a few days and it's still there, it's my sign that I should bring it home. I have one of these in a cat shape. Uh, the kitty one I have has a little fishy dangling from here. This one is missing, I think it's a little bone. Uh, but at $5.99, it's too much considering it's missing a piece. I loved this huge metal wall pocket, but it's the famous $7.99. These were really pretty, but so itchy. Definitely for decorative purposes only. Do not judge me, but I loved this peacock on black velvet. It was so blingy, tacky, and lovely. Hola guys, pardon any and all noise in the background. I'm not even going to tell y'all what time it is. It's technically Sunday. Um, I don't know what it is. I can't sleep. And if I can't sleep, little dude stays awake. I honestly think it's like 4 in the morning. And we were up until 6 in the morning yesterday. Just watching movies and bullfarting around. I don't know what's happening to our sleep schedule. But... I was gonna lie down and I'm like no go ahead and start the laundry and then I started the laundry and then I separated everything from the bags from the thrifting of it all today and I'm just like wide awake right now I'm tired but I'm wide awake so I'm like let's just get this done and put it all together in one video and hopefully I can keep it under 40 minutes I never want to go too long because I don't want y'all to get like over me but let's jump into what I picked up uh, I'm gonna start with the thrifty no, the Thrift Mart stuff first. I did get the cabinet for my friend. Um, they ended up meeting us at uh, Goodwill. And we thrifted together at Goodwill. And then we came home. Well, we went out and had dinner and we came home. And then they took their little um, curio cabinet with them. Um, so um, I did get the cabinet for them. I did bring home this lovely, lovely pot. I cannot wait to make, I don't know what in it, but I just love that design and I love that it's enamel lined. It's gorgeous. And in case y'all don't remember, it was expensive, but so y'all know I had to have loved it to have gone above my $5 budget for a thrifted item, but it was $8.98 and it's amazing. It's in such good shape. And I did get this for $6.96. I'm going to see if I can install it tomorrow. Maybe not because it's supposed to be raining. It's going to start raining from like 2 until 7 or 8 p.m. So, I mean, I haven't had one in quite some time. So, I don't think another day or two will hurt. Uh, and then the only other thing I picked up. Little dude did find. Sorry, my dryer's on. Uh, little dude did find some toys there. Uh, him and his little buddy. <laughs> They couldn't wait. We uh, just clean wiped them off and the little Lysol wipes. And they ended up uh, playing with them. I can't remember what he found at Thrift Mart. But I know he did find some stuff. And then the only other thing I picked up at Thrift Mart was the lamp. Okay. 
I showed y'all this $10 and 10 lamp. $10 and 10 cents lamp there. I couldn't resist it guys. It is too pretty and it's metal scrolly and it's such a nice little reading lamp and I think I'm going to swap out this lamp for another one in my oldest bedroom. But that was everything that I picked up at Thrift Mart and then in at Good yeah, at Goodwill cuz it's closer here. I picked up the Selena Anthology. It was meant for me, okay? If y'all know me at all, y'all know I am a huge fan of hers. I'm a veteran fan. I have been since I was nine years old. And the fact that it was just propped up on the shelf told me it was meant for me. I could, I could uh, listen to the album on YouTube. They're streaming it all over the place, but I like a physical CD. And this is actually one of my favorite photos of her. I just love that expression on her face. So... I thought that was amazing considering her, her 20th uh, anniversary, the 20th anniversary of her death was on the 31st. So I grabbed it and it was $1.99. I had put this back twice and then on the way out they had moved it. Somebody had moved it from the glass shelf over to a random shelf and I just, I was like, I have to have it. It was just so stinking pretty. Uh, so I'm going to use it for, um, as a trinket box, I'm going to use it for earrings. I just thought it was really, really pretty. I can't wait to unwrap it just to get the real definition of it all. Well, hold on, let's unwrap it. Um, I love the little feet. I, I don't know what it is. Oh. <laughs> Something bad has happened. Dang it all the heck. Look. I'm so sad. You can't have nothing. Ow. Ow. How does this go? How does it fix? I gotta figure out how to fix it. Dang it. I wonder if I broke it. I probably broke it. I'm gonna sit here and be all upset. But I'm probably the one that broke it. Because I'm not very gentle. I forget I have glass things. Oh, well, I'll glue it and then just put the ugly part to the back. I'm sad. But anywho, it's a little trinket box. I don't know if my OCD is going to allow me to keep that. But it's so pretty. Darn it. But anyway, so got that and got the Hope coffee mug. I love the color, I love the scripture, and I love it as you're sippy sipping, uh, but blessed are those who have made the Lord their hope and confidence, Jeremiah 17, 7. It just gives you hope, and then it gives you the scripture on the inside, so sippy sippy, I just thought it was lovely, and I think this was 99 cents. I did get the little, I swear if I drop this or break it, I did get this. And it fits pretty okay on one of the lamps that I have in the garage without one. It's not the original. I found out that the original to the lamp I wanted this for is actually a perfect little circle. Uh, so now at least I know to keep an eye out for that. But this one actually sets on there pretty. But now that I know it's not the original, that's going to bother me. But as is, it looks really pretty this on top of the lamp. I should have taken a picture. I already put it back in the garage. Um, but there was no price on it and she um, charged me 303 for it. So that was a good, that was good. I like that. And then the only other thing that I picked up there, again, little dude got that dinosaur to add to his Jurassic collection and a couple of other things that he's already, him and his little friend were playing with. I, I don't know if I showed this on the video or not, but I found another one of these little macrame-ish uh, flower pots. This one was $4.94 and I think I'm done. I don't even know where I'm going to get that macrame pot holder corner set up still. But I think I'm done. Um, so that was that. That I think that's everything. I'm just trying to be... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything there. So now let me show you guys what I picked up at Thrift Town.
Holy heck, guys, it's 5.21 in the morning. We're doing it again, and I think I hear a little dude puttering around upstairs. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe anxiety with me. But I don't know. I don't know. And like I said, little dude is kind of like a baby. I don't know if he expects I'm going to have a big party or something as soon as he falls asleep. But he will stay awake right along with me. <sighs> but anywho, let me show you guys what I picked up at Thrift Town. And then I'm going to take myself to bed. I'm going to have to take myself to bed. My son is almost off work. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so at uh, Thrift Town, I found... Is that another hole? Sorry about my big gronka. Hope, but this is a psalm. This is Psalm 62.5. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you may abound in hope. There's a scripture inside. What the heck? So this was um, 99 cents. That is crazy. Okay. Um, I found this gorgeous. I don't know if this is pewter and brass. Goose. Now I have a collection of brass birds on my little picture shelves over here. And he's not all brass, but he has enough brass on it. And he is a bird. Uh, so he's going to go on that shelf. Uh, and it, he was, can you see? He, he was $3.49. I was so excited. I thought for sure this is going to be like $7.99. And you know they're eleven seven ninety nine dollars now there. They should call it the $7.99 store. I did pick this up. I've looked at it for weeks and weeks and weeks. And I'm going to set this next to my other one. I don't know what I'm going to plant in it. Probably fake stuff. Because there's no drainage holes. Uh, and I don't want whatever I plant in here to drown. Or die or whatever. But I'm going to place this one next to my other one that I have outside currently. And the other one is white. Uh, but it's very similar in style. And it was a little expensive. I went 99 cents over my budget but y'all know if i really like it i will grab it so i brought that home and then the purple was 50 percent off and i found this silly little top <laughs> silly little top so it was half off of 4.99 i just i like the stripes i like black and white and then the only other things I found were for my flower pots, okay? I put a whole bunch of them back because there were so many to choose from. But I did get Mr. Owl. He looks a little high. He looks like he's been doing something, something. Uh, he was 69 cents. 69 cents. I got this little kitty. He was 49 cents. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see the teeny tiny prices but he was 49 cents for my kitty shelf this adorable mommy cat with baby kittens in a basket for 49 cents this adorable little is this a yorkie schnauzer whatever this little doggy is um he's 69 this cents lovely what is this pelican this bird uh, for 69 cents this little quail, isn't it cute? He was 49 cents. And then this little black painted duck for 49 cents. And these are the little things that I tuck into my potted plants. And y'all know here, here, um, soon I'm gonna be getting those plants and flowers and stuff ready, but that's everything. I am going to call it a night. Call it a morning. Call, call it a morning. I'm going to call it done. So, thanks guys for hanging out. I Like I said, I don't want the videos to go on too, too long. Um, but, I just, like I keep saying, I'm having so much fun filming and being able to know. Um, so, yeah. They're going a little long. This last one with me complaining about the write-up and everything. Oh my gosh, that was an over an hour. And I edited the snot out of it because... I don't know if you want to hear all that. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for the comments. I'm going to try and catch up, you guys. I promise. Um, I hope you guys had an awesome Saturday. I hope you guys are going to have an awesome, relaxing, fun-filled Sunday. So until my next go-around, I love y'all bunches. Bye.